Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can handle contacts when you have multiple bodies in your geometry. For example, in this geometry, I have 19 bodies and there are many contacts. We will see in ANSYS meshing how to deal with these contacts. Let's switch to meshing. Now we are in ANSYS meshing. I am not going into the detail of this geometry. I did simulation in my previous video using this geometry. You can check that video. In this video, we will talk about only the context between different bodies. When you transfer your geometry into meshing, you get all those contacts automatically. For example, if you go to the connection in context and you can see the ANSYS meshing has generated almost 45 contacts. In reality, I think we have 20 or 30 contacts. First of all, to read the context correctly, there are some settings for that. Go to the context and in tolerance type, you have two ways. One is slider and other one is value. We can give the exact value of the tolerance or you can use this slider bar to adjust the tolerance of your context. Before that, let me show you the context. For example, actually, first let's see the geometry. Uh, there are these blocks. These are actually the battery cells. Let me hide these two bodies. And there we have an other body between these battery cells. This one actually is the insulation. And the thickness of insulation is quite small. That uh, we can check over here. This one is 0.2 millimeter. Now, if we create contact or with the default setting it creates false contact for example the very first contact you can see it is saying that these two battery cells are connected which is not uh, it means it has generated some false contact yeah contact 2 is also not correct because it is saying these two battery cells are connected actually we have insulation this battery cell has the connection with this insulator and the battery cell on the left also has the connection with the insulator but it is showing too many extra contacts so we can do two things first we can delete all these contacts and we can adjust the tolerance type we will get the correct uh, contacts for example let's go step by step let me delete all these contacts as i was saying before here you have tolerance type so you can use slider or value if you know the value good you can give this value directly if you don't know the value you can use slider bar with experience i have found out that the slider bar with the value of 70 give you very good context what this slider bar mean if you go from 0 towards 100 it decreases the tolerance and if you go from 0 to minus 100 it increases the tolerance value it means we want to decrease the tolerance value because it was creating contact between this one and this one uh, we have the thickness of insulation 0.2 millimeter it is skipping this insulator it means we have to reduce our tolerance value so anyway as i said 70 on this slider bar works fine for my most of cases i never face problem with uh, this value let's uh, try with this one i have set 70 and when i will say create automatic contacts now it the context has reduced to 29 these are the actual contacts if we go to one by one we can see yes this contact is correct battery cell and this uh, body or bottom plate we can call it then similarly second one this battery cell and with the insulation yes both surfaces are correct you can see these two are red and this insulation is red over here and if you will check any context you will find all these contacts are fine so one we can adjust the tolerance by this sliding bar and with 70 you can get good context but we want to do something else let's delete all these contacts Okay, before deleting, there are too many contacts and it is difficult to handle all these contacts with these name or when everything is in a single folder or you can 
you can consider this one is as a directory and all these contacts are in this single directory so it is really difficult to follow all these contacts we can delete all these contacts and uh, first let me delete yes after deleting all these contacts we will create a connection group right click insert connection group in this connection group we will add only selective bodies just let me select then i will tell you what i am doing and i want to select this one i have created one connection group where i have only these 30 bodies similarly let me create another connection group in this connection group i want to have all these battery cells with this bottom plate and uh, i will add these bodies in here then i will create another connection group let me call it insert connection group in this one i want to have this 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 and this so here i am creating different connection group in which i have selected bodies so it means the context of this body will be present only in this connection group now one group has left another connection group i need where the connection should be between this insulation and this bottom plate and i think we have created all those connection group and this one we can delete this first connection group has these battery cell and this insulation so now we can create contact slider bar should be at 70 and we can say create automatic contact and you can see it has created 12 contacts we have 12 battery cell and once insulation so it means each battery cell will have one contact so we should get 12 contacts that is correct we can check couple of contacts example this first one this one is fine with this one similarly second one third one and you can see all these so this connection group has only contacts of these bodies which we had selected in this group similarly this one has the bodies these battery cells and this bottom plate you can see it has been selected now we can create automatic connection and it has created a lot of extra connection because we did not adjust our uh, slider bar we can go back and we can adjust our slider bar at 70 and now we can say create automatic connection now it should give you 12 contacts again 12 battery cell and this bottom plate go inside and we got 12 connection similarly in here we should get one two three four uh, let me adjust this one to 70 and I can say create uh, automatic connection and we got four one two three four the last one here you don't need to adjust because it will give you the uh, correct connection we can say like that create automatic connection and here is one now we have separate group for specific type of contact it can help you in two ways one it is easier to follow all those connections the other one is more helpful in ANSYS mechanical you can for example define the context type if you want to have for example bonded frictionless or whatever for example for different group you want to assign uh, different context type you can assign over here for each group separate context type it is extremely useful when you have a lot of bodies for example 10 20 50 whatever number of bodies if you have it will help you to handle these contexts in this ways that's it from today i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you for watching and see you in the next video